SAP HANA variables and input parameters are now supported and display as query prompts. When creating an input control, you can now disable the option to select all values. This enhancement is useful when working with custom lists of values or large datasets. Note that when you disable the selection of all values, you must provide a default value. Also note that the option to disable selection of all values is not available for measure or hierarchy objects or for entry field or calendar type input controls. When you duplicate a report, any associated input controls are now copied. Previously, it was necessary to recreate any input controls when duplicating a report. You can modify the width of an individual line in a line chart by clicking a data point on the line and selecting the Format Data Series option from the context menu. You can now format waterfall charts to display reference lines between columns or bars. The loading performance of the Java applet interface has been improved. Support for SharePoint 2013 has also been added. To enhance right-to-left language support, in the CMC, administrators can now apply default content alignment settings for new web intelligence documents. Hebrew support has also been added. You've now reviewed the new features in Web Intelligence 4.1 Support Pack 3. Thanks for watching.